All right, it's five after seven. I don't want to keep you guys too late because I don't want to be here too late. Um, I wasn't asked to talk on this one. I actually asked to talk on this one because I want to talk about something that nobody ever talks about within our team under Scotty, Team Dynasty, our downlines and everybody. And it's something that you guys need to know now so when it happens in the future you're okay with it okay um a lot of you don't know who i am i haven't spoken spoken in a really long time eric will get me to do some of his calls and scotty will ask me questions when i jump on them but i really haven't been present that much when it comes to these team calls so um just a brief little story about myself um my name is sean i'm from canada um, I'm part of the Edmonton Market Council. The last Super Saturday, we just brought in uh, Tony Horton, and we had about eight to eight fifty to nine hundred people at our Super Saturday, um, and that was all brought on by by us, and it was an absolute hit. Um, I also spoke at the Sigi event in Idaho Falls last year. Um, I'm a lifetime two star diamond with Beachbody. I did that in about ten months of actually starting to work the business. And I did that on top of having a full-time job for the city, which is 40 hours a week, 7 till 3.30, including overtime on top of that, where it could be anywhere from 20 to 30 hours extra a week. Um, but on top of that, I'm also a nightclub DJ. I do that three to five times a week, um, depending on what the events are going on. And I do that from 10 till 2 in the morning. So I go, I DJ at night from 10 till 2 in the morning. I'm back at work at 7.30 in the morning, and I am still rocking Beachbody, okay? So I'm going to say it right off the bat right now. If anybody tells you I don't have time, I don't have time, and I can still make it happen. So if you guys ever hear that excuse, that's what it is. It's an excuse, okay? Um, everybody can find time to rock this business. Now, that being said, you have to be in the right mindset to rock this business. You got to be in the right mindset to rock your families. You got to be in the right, right mindset to rock your spouse. You got to be in the right mindset to do a whole lot that you are destined to do, but you got to be focused. You have to drive and you have to go hard. That being said, life sucks. 100%. Life sucks. Life will get in the way. Life will try and throw you down. Life will push you over. Life will throw you off your game. And there's going to be a time that you're going to end up thinking, can I do this? Can I do this business? By a show of hands right now, guys, how many of you are wanting to make a big business out of Beachbody? Let me see your hands. Lower hand. Hey, that's cool. Had someone put a lower hand. That's awesome. I don't know how that worked. Um, Okay, um, so almost all of you, except for the ones that I can't see because they're on the phone, but I'm sure their hands are up, okay? How many people are in this for the long run? Okay, actually, show of hands. First, first show, show of hands, guys. How many, are, how many are new coaches within the last three months? So one, two, three. Three are new coaches. How many coach? How many for the hot one? Um, how many... <laughs> How, how many coaches are coaches uh, within the last six months? Put your hands up. Okay, so Dan. And then uh, I'm going to throw this one out. Who has been a coach for a year or more? So Christine, Alicia, I know Barton has, I know Eric has, uh, Juliana has, uh, Garrett has. Okay, so there's quite quite a few of us that have just – started this business there are quite a quite quite a few of us that are already invested in this now by a show of hands how many people think this is a struggle and be honest i want i want to know how many people at some point in time in this beach body career that you have do you think this has been a struggle so almost Everybody, almost everybody. And yes, Barton, I know you're always awesome. I get it. Um, but this isn't about being awesome because you, you might be awesome all the time, but life is still going to get in the way. Okay. So 
this is what this call is about. This call is about failure. I never thought I would come to this point in my business because, you know, I was gung-ho right from the beginning. I worked hard. Um, you know, I persevered through major hip surgery. I persevered through ups and downs and a roller coaster of relationships. Um, I got through being inside my head half the time. Um, but I'll tell you, this – sorry, I'm just reading the comments as they come up. Um, there, the, there comes a time that you're going to sit back and you're going to say, it's too much. This is too much. Can I move forward? Okay. Now, I'm just, I'm just going to be real with you guys um, because I don't want you to fall into the trap that I did for the last two months. Okay. Because it can happen and I didn't think it was going to happen to me, but it did. So let, let, me meet, let me explain what I mean by fail, okay? For those of you that saw me in Summit, I went from Jamaica to Summit. I was in Jamaica, I was 215 pounds, and when I hit Summit, I was 191 pounds. So I lost um, 20, 20, uh, almost 25 pounds in 12 weeks. Okay, so when I got to Summit, I felt fantastic. But what happened is when I got back from Summit, I let it all go. I let it all go. Um, I stopped focusing on what mattered, and that was my workouts. I stopped focusing on what mattered, and that was my shakes. I would go back and forth on the diet, but I always thought it'd be okay to have pizza here and donuts there. And, and honestly, I failed. I failed on my clean eating, and what happened? Today I weighed in at 215. So I gained all that weight back that I spent, that I was so, that I worked so hard to get off. And you can ask Eric when I said, when we were in Nashville, I said, you know what, there's no stopping me from my abs now. I'm so close. All I got to do is keep going. And it went complete reverse. I failed. I, I, I failed on myself. And why? Because I let life get inside my head. I let life get in the way of pursuing my dreams and my goals. Um, and it's a very tough thing to get over. And what do I mean by life? Um, at this point, it, it was all relationships. Relationships got into my head. I didn't know what I wanted out of my future. Um, there was a breakup involved and I, I took it hard. I took it really hard and I let things go. Okay. I, I let my weight go. I let my workouts go. Yeah, I'd work out here and there. Um, I'd say I was consistent. I wasn't consistent. You know, I'm a, I was a beach body coach and they say fake it till you make it. But I wasn't being honest with myself, right? I wasn't being honest to the point that I can control and get back into the habit of knowing what I know what to do. And why do I know how, what to do? Because my initial transformation was 55 pounds lost. Then I had my hip surgery. Even during my hip surgery, I lost 12 pounds. And then um, from April to July, I lost 25 pounds. So I know how to do it. It's proven. I, I know how to do it. I know what it takes to do. But up here, I failed myself before I even started because I gave up on myself. I said, you know what? I'm emotional today, so I'm going to eat whatever the hell I want to eat. I don't care. And it caught up with me. And the, that's when I woke up and I, I messaged Eric and I messaged Scotty. I said, you know what? I need to do this call not only for these guys that are, are coming on or these guys that are struggling with the same things that I'm, I'm struggling with because I want you guys to know that even when you're a two-star diamond or even if you're a five-star diamond or a 15-star diamond, you fall off sometimes, okay? So number one, I failed at my – Clean eating. I failed at my workouts. So there's two right there. What else did I fail at? Well, I said I was a lifetime two-star diamond. It's hard to say, but you know what? I'm just going to say it because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it doesn't define who I am. Right now, I'm a Ruby coach. After two years of rocking diamond and rocking two-star diamond and one-star diamond, right now I'm sitting as a Ruby coach. 
So why am I telling you guys this? I'm telling you guys this because even though you think it's a failure, it's not. It's not a failure that if your rank drops up, if it goes up, it comes down, it goes up, it comes down. I want you guys to know right now, be prepared for it because it's part of the business. It's part of your business. Even the 15 star diamonds drop. I know seven star diamonds that have fallen back to two star diamonds. Okay. Do not let that define your success. Okay, the reason why I'm telling you this once again is because it's going to happen to you. It's going, I never thought it was going to happen to me because I was on such a rush. I was committed, I was consistent, and I was rocking my business. I'm like, I got this. I'm going on 27, 28 months right now, Success Club 10. I'm a Success Club 10 legend. Um, and I'm worried. For the first month in two and a half years, I'm worried that I'm not going to hit 10. But I'll tell you this right now. I will hit 10 because you got to change that mindset. You got to go after it. You got to pick up your socks and you got to go. So I failed at my rank. I failed at my clean eating. I failed at my workouts. I failed at my relationships. Sometimes I feel like I fail at being a dad because I'm not always around for my kids because I work so much. Um, the next is my team. I think I'm failing as a coach for my team. Now, why do I say that? I say that because if my team is growing, then I am growing. Oh, one second. Let me just do. Um, oh, there we go. Sorry, guys. Give me one second. Okay, so going going to back what I was saying. If you are succeeding at being a fantastic, fantastic coach or being a great leader or so forth, you're going to see an uphill with your team. Okay, so I've been going at this for two and a half years. And the way I see it, two and a half years, almost three years in, that you would see some improvement in your team. Okay? Whether it's them advancing or you're adding new people um, and your, your team is just growing. So when I saw my drop in it to my Ruby status, I saw coaches were dropping off. I saw coaches were not advancing. I saw coaches that were not building their business. So how do, how do you take that? Right? We're here, in a, we're here to do a business. We're here to show others how to move forward and how to, to grow, right? You're here to teach them how to grow. Um, but sometimes we fail as leaders, okay? So this is going to happen to you guys in the future. You guys are going to grow a team. You guys are going to have a team with you. And what's going to happen is you're going to hit that diamond. You're going to be excited. And then you're going to start micromanaging your team. I tell you guys right now, don't micromanage your team. Take this as a hint. When you are growing your team, spend 80% on you and 20% on your builders. The rest, don't chase them. Okay? Because it's the hardest thing you can do is lead them. It's like leading a horse to water, but you can't make them drink it. They have to want it. They have to want to move forward. They, want to, they will have to want to grow for themselves. Okay, and that's going to be the toughest thing for you guys to understand as you guys are upcoming coaches or even though some of you that have been around a while, you guys know what I'm talking about because we all do it. We all expect greatness. We all want to push greatness out of the people that we're helping, but we all know they're not all like us. There is a reason why there are 450,000 coaches in this business and only 10% make it. Because they don't care like us. They don't have the drive like us. They don't have the fire like us. They don't have the, the inspiration and the motivation from people like Barton and Eric and Scotty. Right? They don't have that. So they fall off. Or they just don't have the drive. Or they don't want to drink the water. Okay? So I failed at clean eating, workouts, 
family, relationships, um, being a team leader. Um, what else have, has I fa have I failed at? So the big of, biggest fail out of all those guys, and I, I'm seeing it, now I'm seeing it, is consistency. Every single aspect that I've just talked about all comes down to consistency. Okay, so you really got to be focused on what you're doing. You really got to have that, that fire. You got to have that big why. And I know Beachbody preaches it. Scotty talks about it. And what's your why? What's your why? What's your why? I had a big why. My big why was my family. It was my biggest why ever. And when I was happy, I was rocking it. I was killing the business. I was getting recognition left and right. I was named Team Dynasty's top male coach. Um, you know, I, I went to leadership, first male besides Scotty to go to, to leadership. Like I had, I had all that. But I was high on life. I was happy. And then my family crumbled. And it broke me. So my why had to change. But I, I couldn't figure out what my why was anymore. Because I was working so hard to make sure my family had everything. I was working so hard that I was able to leave a job. And then when my relationship failed, I just felt like, what did I just spend the last two years doing? Like, why, why am I not where I thought I would be? Okay. And you know what? After Nashville, I just let it go. I let it go. I, I, I let the consistency go. I dabble here and there. You know, I'd hit my success cup 10 and then I would stop. And, you know, um, even my success cup partner, Eric, we were going strong for a while, but my consistency was, consistency was lacking. And so I failed Eric as well because I wasn't there here. I wasn't looking at the big picture. And I'm going to tell you guys, and I'm not telling you to scare you. I'm not telling you because I want you to fail. Actually, no, I, I am telling you because I want you to fail. Because when you do fail, this is where the positive message comes in. And this is really what I want, what I want to drive home. This isn't going to be a long call. Um, you know what the greatest part of this business is, guys? Is every day you wake up, you get a chance to start over. Every single day, you get the chance to start. You see, this? now this is a real smile because I'm saying it and, I, and I'm believing in it. And I, and I know it's true. Who I was yesterday means nothing to who I am today. It plays no bearing on who I am today. And if today was hard, that's okay. Because you know what tomorrow is? Tomorrow is a new day. So maybe I was the worst damn leader for two years. But you know what happened in those two years? I grew. I learned, I failed, and I moved forward. And I continue to do that every single day. Because it's a choice to take it from here to here. Yes, you're going to be from here and you're going to drop sometimes. But you have to make that mental choice to move forward. You guys have to decide that this is what I am destined to do. This is my purpose in life. And I have no doubt that I'm going to make it to greatness. And I said that from day one. I will be great at this business. And I don't care if it takes me two years, three years, four years, five years, six years. I don't care. I told my team before. I said, you know what, guys? There's a difference between me and a lot of other people. Is I don't care if I start with zero. If I lost all my coaches today, if I lost all my challengers today, I would not quit. Why? Because I just spent the last two years growing the most important person in my life. And that's me. Beachbody has done something for me. And yes, sometimes you lose the weight. Sometimes you slip off the workouts. Sometimes you don't read your personal development. And yes, that all plays the big picture. And if you do want all that, you get excited. And your consistency improves. But if you fall off, one day turns into two, two days turn into three, three days turn into four, four days turn into four months. And you're 25 pounds heavier. And then you wake up and you say, what the hell am I doing? And that's when you got to make the choice. And that's when you got to go, you know what? I'm going to message Scotty and I'm going to message Eric. 
And I'm going to say, with my head down, I fucked up. At the end of the day, I fucked up because I lost my path. I did the same thing I told all my coaches not to do and don't let life get in the way. At the end of the day, that's what I did. I let life get in the way. I got let life surpass my dreams and my goals and my vision. It blocked me. Okay. Scotty Hobbs, two years ago, said this line to me. And I say it every time something comes up that's bad. The devil will throw obstacles in your way to test your fate. He does that to test your fate because he knows you're destined for greatness. But he's going to throw those obstacles in your way to see if you can break through them. And I've passed every single one, guys. And there has been, and you can ask Eric, you can ask Scotty because they truthfully know, there's been a lot thrown at me in the last two years. A lot. From relationships to major hip surgery to like... Working two jobs and Beachbody, it's tough. It's tough. Working Beachbody and being a mom, it's tough. Working Beachbody and working a job, it's tough. You know what's tougher? Is working Beachbody and you're inside your own damn head. That's the toughest. Because if you can push through that, I guarantee... Every person on here, all 18 of you guys, you're going to make it. You're going to make it because every day you get to wake up and you choose to do this. You choose it. You choose to wake up and say, you know what? I might have sucked yesterday. I might not have been the greatest leader yesterday, but this is my business. This is my life. I get to choose to become a better leader. I get to choose to become a better beach body coach. I get to choose to revamp my challenge group so my challengers are be creating success that are turning into the builders instead of signing a discount coach and crossing our fingers, is he a builder or not? Right? This is what Scotty was saying the other day in the calls is we all had this mindset of sign as many discount coaches as possible, which is fine. We need the discount coaches. I'm not going to dispute that, right? But I do agree with this statement. You find your challenger that worked their ass off and got an amazing transformation. And then you transform them into the coaching business. You show them why it's important that they can take this into their future. Because those are going to be your builders. And when you start doing that, then you just created your new chapter. Okay, so it doesn't matter how many times you guys fail, whether it's life, relationships, um, being a dad, being a family, being a mom, um, work, jobs. It doesn't matter. We're all meant to fail. It's going to happen. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's going to be hard. Can this business be fun? absolutely it can be absolutely it can be when you guys start creating relationships like some of the ones that i have already you guys are going to fall in love with this business because the business is much bigger than we think it is this business is about family and i'm not just talking about your family this business is about family that you guys are creating with each other I know in a minute, if I was to call Eric tomorrow and say, hey, brother, I'm coming to Maui, he's like, I got a couch for you. Come down. That's family. I called my buddy Frank, and I knew I was struggling to get down to Vegas. And I'm like, hey, I got an extra ticket. You want to go? Yep. And it's all done. It went from a doubt to I'm going to be there in a week and a half with you guys. Okay, so when you guys fail, remember you guys get to make that choice. And is, it, it doesn't matter. You don't have to make the choice in a day. But you get to make that choice. You get to make the choice that you guys get to decide that today, you know what? Enough is enough. I'm going to turn around. I'm going to take this little form that we call the bat form. 
and I'm going to do it every day. I'm going to do my workouts. I'm going to eat clean. I'm going to log it, and I'm going to get rocking. Then I'm going to take that to my challenge groups. I'm going to take that to my team, and I'm going to explode. Why? Because we deserve it. We work hard. We deserve this. We're in this for a reason. We want it for a reason. So when you fail, just remember, I'm not the only one that's failed. Sean has failed. And you know what? You can even take my name out of that. You know who else has failed? Scotty Hobbs has failed. Lindsay Matway has failed. Brigitte Linford has failed. Bonnie Engel has failed. Right? Jamie Fitzpatrick, number three in the business. You, got, you don't think the guy fails? Even he fails. Okay, everybody fails. But there's a difference between failures and quitting. Every top coach right now that you have seen, and you guys know all the names, they've had some sort of struggle that they overcame. And they said, I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up on this. Why? Because it's my purpose, it's my why, and I know I belong in this business. I know I'm going to be a great at it, and I don't care what obstacles hit me in the face with it, I'm going to go surpass it. And when you do that, guys, you will become great. Every one of you, all your dreams will come true. So when I say I want you to fail, I want you to fail. Because it's you that decides whether you're going to get past that failure and you're gonna achieve your dreams. Cause you're gonna get it. The failure is gonna be right there. But it's your choice to surpass that and then hit your dreams. That's why every successful people say, you gotta fail forward. It's the only way you learn. But you gotta get back up. Um, so that's, that's my story guys, I, I failed at everything. But you know what, at the end of the day, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking about it. I didn't fail myself because I'm still here. I didn't quit. I didn't call Beachbody say I'm done. I'm still here. I get to start over. It's a new slate. I design my destiny. Nobody else does. You guys design yours. Nobody else does. So I'll leave it up to questions. If you guys have anything you want to ask, um, if you've had any struggle, maybe, maybe this is a good time right now that we're here together. If you have a struggle, throw it out there. Let us know what your struggle is. And I guarantee you, you will see every one of us has some sort of something that is stopping us from greatness. There's something that's stopping you. So you guys can unmute yourself at any time. Um, if you have a question, I'm here, Eric's here, Barton's here, anybody can answer them. I'm just gonna go through these comments. Somebody's got to have something to say. I know Barton always has something to say. Your hands are up, but you're unmuted, or is that my fault? Um, maybe that's me. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, Were you able to unmute yourself, Barton? No, I'm unmuted now. I was just cheating. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, unmute yourself if you got to talk. I know you always got something to say because you're awesome. Unmute yourself. Yeah, I, I can say something, brother. If, you, if you'd like me to, I'll chime in for sure. Absolutely. I want anybody to chime in. This is a team. Everybody, you got to understand this is a team. This isn't a one-way conversation. It's not, I talk, you listen. You grow. We all talk. You know, one, I, I think the perspective that's important is through failure, lessons come. And I'm just like you. I'm, I was a diamond. I'm back to emerald. But the lessons that I've learned through the courses of those failures have made me a far better person today than I was when I was a diamond, I think. Uh, every failure that I have had to include, and today, I'm traveling. I'm, I'm sitting in a hotel today. Today, I met with the lieutenant colonel who just jumped my butt about a program that I'm running. 
for me, that could be a failure, but instead I'm going to take it and help others with what his struggle is. I'm, I'm starting to babble a little bit just because that's actually on my mind. But my, my takeaway is that every failure is there for a reason. And as long as you learn from that failure, it becomes a win. And that win is who makes me who I am today. If I did not have failures that I've had, and some of you, many of you know that I'm working Amazon on the side as much as I am Beachbody. Someone looked at it as a failure. I thank Beachbody for helping me find out about Amazon. And now I have two businesses. Uh, every failure leads to a, a win. And, and that's, that's what I'd like everyone to take away from this is find the wind and the failure. I mean, I, I feel bad for, for Sean. I really do. To lose your family, I can't imagine. To, to lose your wife and your kids, I mean, I even want to choke up even thinking about that. I feel for you. But the person that you've learned, the person that you are today, because of those failures and because of those losses, you're much stronger than you were then with a loss, unfortunately, but Scotty, we all know Scotty's going through struggles right now. We don't know where, what the end result will be yet, but he's still getting stronger every day because of the failure that he's currently in now. Uh, and I'm thankful that he's being willing to allow us to see him go through this struggle, go through this failure that he's currently in today. Uh, so that, that's my takeaway anyway. Who else has a struggle? Who else has some sort of struggle in their life? And now's the time to talk about it, guys, because I'll tell you what. Let me, let me tell you something. We were in Nashville in the summertime, and we had a little powwow at, in the lobby of uh, Scotty's Hotel. And everybody was talking, and I kind of asked the question, what's holding you back? And everybody was there. Everybody went around the room. We went towards every single person, and they all said what was holding them back. And there was one guy there, one guy that absolutely bawled. He cried his eyes out because he realized he was struggling, and he got to talk about it. I'm not going to say what the struggle is because that man will have his own talk on here. But that guy that my conversation topic made him cry, made him realize what a struggle was. You guys have seen his transformation. It's Phil. In three months, that guy has absolutely changed his life because he took the time. He figured out what a struggle was. And I'm not saying we're going to take all the credit for that for that day, but I guarantee that day started him off. And he has rocked it for the last 12 weeks. He is a different man. Angela is a different woman. They are a power couple right now, and there is no stopping them. It's because he had a struggle. Someone brought it out in him. He brought it forward, and he dealt with it. And he still deals with it. I guarantee it's not gone. He still deals with it every day. It's a choice. So if you guys have a huge struggle in your life and you think there's something holding you back, now's the time. You guys are on a call for a reason. If you have a struggle, maybe we can talk you through it. Maybe we can answer something. And if not, then that's good too because we'll see you in Vegas and we'll see you in Summit and we'll see you on these other trips. And I'll guarantee I'll make you cry at some point. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to make you cry. Anybody else got anything? No? Yes? Hey, hey, Sean, I got something. All right, right brother. Here. Yeah. Okay. I don't know where I'm going with this, but, um, well, Martin kind of hit it. Um, like, Scotty is struggling right now, and we all know that. And uh, there's no – and we don't need to talk about that. But there's no, there's no doubt, there's no question that the energy kind of this team has kind of been lowered since then. And I know it's you know, it's the fourth quarter, and it's kind of you know it's November and December, and I posted in the, in the leaders group today. And I know it's it's really easy to uh, just kind of back down right now and just kind of take it easy right now. 
And uh, I think this is the time that we really, like, really need to get excited and, like, really need to step up. And, like, the fact that you, 18, 20, however many people are on here right now, tells us that, I mean, one, you're serious and you care about this thing. Uh, but just like what Sean was talking about, this is, it's so much bigger than ourselves. It's so much bigger than the goals that I have or Sean has or anyone else on here, our own individual goals. It's that family that Sean was talking about. And, that, and it's why it's so important that you guys need to get to Vegas or you need to get to any event you can. But uh, I'm asking you and I'm challenging you and I'm pushing you guys to kind of be that light and, and just don't give in to that excuse or that reason uh, to, to back down these last two months of the year. These are the times that people need it the most. And, and bottom line, what we're here to do, yes, we all, like, we all have our goals, but we're here to help people transform. We're here to find people like Phil who need that family and who need that unity and bring them aboard. So I guess I'm just challenging you guys to step up in your own lives with your own goals um, and bring that energy each day. And kind of like when times are the lowest, that's when we come together. And, and Scotty doesn't have a lot of strength right now. And uh, it's why we're here, you know, and we can really come together and really help persevere this team through. Uh, so I don't know where I'm really going with this, but I, I guess I'm just thankful for all you guys. Um, and I, and I want to see us come together and fight through this, not just for the team, not just for Scotty, but for something much bigger that, that we can create. So I believe in you guys. I'm excited for you. Um, and just thank you. Thank you for, for being a part of this family. That's all I got, Sean. That's can perfect. I, can I add some action steps on the end of that? Hell yeah, you can. <laughs> so I know that there's a, there's a post in Scotty's personally sponsored coaches page of accountability, and I'm guilty of not doing any of that, partly because it's fourth quarter and I struggle too. But um, I know that when – we all see each other step up and do something on those accountability posts in either that page or on the team dynasty page as well. Cause I know that a lot of our coaches are in there um, that can tend to drive momentum, especially um, because other people see us step up and lead outside of our own teams to, to lead the whole group. So I don't know if I can challenge you guys to um, do what Eric was talking about and kind of help generate that energy and I'll be in there too, but posting those accountability things, making sure that we're showing that we're stepping forward and doing uh, the activities that we're supposed to be doing to move forward. Because we will, if we're doing those activities, we will. And by having that accountability, we can help each other and help other people um, or other coaches be successful and kind of create some of that energy. I don't know. I know that that's helpful to me. So I imagine it's helpful to you guys as well and to the other coaches. So I just want to challenge you guys to, to be in there and posting and I will be too. So Jul Juliana says she's been struggling with consistency and really at the end of the end of the days, guys, this is what we're, we're talking about, whether it's, you know, pumping up people in the group, whether it's recognition, whether it's reading your personal development, clean eating, working out, being there for your family, being there for your, your business, it's consistency. Everybody says, what's the big secret to success? That's it. Consistent. That's it. That is what's got me here today. It's because I was consistent. But this is what's also brought me to this call is because I wasn't consistent. I was realizing that I was failing. So I caught it before I gave up on myself. So be brave, have that drive, inspire, motivate, and be proud of yourselves. Because even though you're not where, you're, where you think you should be yet, you will be. I have no doubt in my mind. But you got to want that for you. As much as we want it for you, you got to want it for yourself. And you got to go get it. And if it takes you posting in a group to do that, then do it. When I first started, guys, I posted in Scotty's group so much. And one day, Scotty asked me, he goes, why do you show up every day to, to, to Team Dynasty? Why do you show up every day to um, 
Scotty's personal sponsored. Like, why are you always showing people, you know, how to move forward? You know, my answer was, I said, Scotty, because one day I'm going to have a team of 18,000 people and I need to know how to do it. So I might as well do it with people that are already ready to do it. Right? So take that opportunity. If you think you got something to teach, teach. Even if you don't think you have something to teach, if you think it's, you know, I, I want to talk about this, but maybe it's stupid. Nothing stupid. You're learning. Talk about it. Do a live video. Post about it. This is your team. This is our team. And together, guys, we already know who the long time people are, have been. Like Mark and I have been going on over a year now that we've known each other. Same with um, Eric and, and Barton. And I, I'm sure there's going to be more of you in the next years to come. Like we're all, we're all going to become family. And there's going to be a day that we all make it. You know, it just won't be Brigida and Scotty and Jen and, you know, um, we're going to be right up there too. I have no doubt. Just be real. Just be raw, be real. And sometimes you sit on the couch and you're hot. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. So you guys have yourself a fantastic night. Take it to the team. Um, I'll share the call. So make sure you share this. If you thought this call was good, share it with your teams. Uh, talk about it. Um, other than that, guys, I'm going to see some of you in a week and a half. And I am jacked. I'm pumped. We're going to see you then. You guys are awesome. Love awesome. You. Awesome. Awesome. Love awesome. You. Bye.